Hi, I'm Mike with Kimray, and today we're going to be talking about Kimray's line of float operated controllers. Now, these are pneumatic or electric level controllers and level switches. These are commonly referred to as pilots because they are not valves themselves, but they send a signal to a valve to open or close based off the liquid level that they're sensing. It's similar to the idea of a light switch where you have electricity running to the switch, but when the switch is off, that electricity doesn't go anywhere. But as soon as you flip the switch on, it allows that electricity to go through the switch and up to the item that it's controlling. So here's the general idea of a level controller. There's a float or displacer that sits inside of a pressurized vessel. And as the liquid level rises, that displacer moves upward. And that is what sends a signal to the valve to open so that the liquid will start dumping. And then when it gets low enough, then it sends a signal to the valve to close so that the water or oil can start filling up again. The most common application you'll find on a production site is a separator. There's two phase and three phase. In a two phase separator, you'll have one level controller and it will be controlling the level between the oil and the gas. In a three phase separator, you'll have two level controllers, one to control the water level and another to control the oil level. In either application, a liquid level switch could be used as a high level or low level shutdown or both. These are used in case of a system failure. The high level shutdown would prevent the vessel from overfilling and the low level shutdown would prevent the vessel from emptying. A liquid level switch can also be used in the same way on a heater treater as a low level or high level shutdown. A heater treater is essentially a separator, but it uses a flame tube to accelerate the process of separation. In a dehydration system, you'll find a Gen 2 on the flash separator separating the condensate from the gas. You'll also find them on the three-phase horizontal separator. One will control the level between the wet glycol and the condensate, and the other will control the level between the condensate and the gas. In line heaters, compressors, and free water knockouts, you're gonna find the Gen 2 and the liquid level switch used in basically the same type of way all controlling the high level or low level shutdowns or just the general liquid level. You'll also see similar uses in a production unit. Typically, you'll see the Gen 2 back mount. This orientation allows it to face the operator when the doors of the production unit are open. When choosing between a Gen 2 side mount and back mount, the main consideration is the orientation to the operator. There are also several displacer options for different conditions. Small differential liquid specific gravities, high temperature, corrosion, large span, small tank diameters, and small access openings. Options for the level switches include a three inch extension for longer weld necks, and also an external float cage for if you wanna control the level outside of the vessel. You can watch more of our videos online about the liquid level controllers and switches, or you can contact your local distributor or store to request training or for more information.